Hello friends. I'm so glad you're joining me for our family faith formation. Today is the fourth Sunday of Easter and it's also communion Sunday. So make sure you watch Virch with your family or virtual church. Um, so you can see Pastor Joanna and your family can participate in Holy Communion together. Today, our friend Harold is taking a rest, but we will have a, another special visitor near the end. So make sure you hang on for that. Let's go ahead and have our opening ritual. Together, we're gonna say, I'm here, you're here, God is here. Let's say that together. I'm here, you're here, God is here. Now I'm gonna light my candle. If you have a candle and you'd like to light one, that would be great. Our candle represents that God is with us. And when we both light our candles at the same time, it's kind of like we're together too. We light this candle and watch it glow. God's love is with us wherever we go. Friends, can you think of a time when someone was really kind to you? Maybe that kindness also inspired you to be kind to someone else too. In the book of Acts, we get to see a little bit about what the early church was like. In Archbishop Desmond Tutu's Children of God Storybook Bible, I'm going to read Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. Every day the disciples went out into the street telling everyone they met that Jesus was alive and that was, he was bringing God's love and peace to the world. They invited everyone to turn away from doing wrong and become part of God's dream with Jesus. More and more people joined the new church. Some people sold their houses and their land. Everyone shared whatever they had with those who had nothing. They were filled with joy and love for one another and love for God. They became one big happy family sharing everything together just like God had always dreamed it would be. People saw how Jesus healed people, how he gave them new life and all the good things he did for them. He fed huge crowds of people, made sick people better, welcomed people who didn't have friends, ate with people no one wanted to sit with and showed them God's abundant love. The early followers of Jesus were inspired by all the wonderful things he did, so they began doing good things for others too. Then other people were doing the same thing and it went on and on and on. Their church was growing and growing and growing because of the kindness people were showing each other in the name of Jesus. Fast forward to our lives now. We're still inspired by Jesus to show God's love and help others. Recently, I've seen and heard about all kinds of thoughtful and creative ways that people are helping each other and showing God's love. How do you think you can show God's love? How could you show God's love at home with your family or show God's love to others outside of your home? For an activity this week, I'd like you to think of one thing you can do with your family to be helpful and bring joy. It could be something that your family does together at home, like a project that you've been meaning to do for a while, or cleaning a room or something like that. Or it could be something your family does together for someone else. Baking cookies or writing a letter or working on somebody else's yard, whatever you can think of. There are so many good things you can do and who knows, maybe your acts of kindness will lead others to be kind to someone else and it will go on and on and on. Before I go, I have a special guest for you. It's joke time with Edie. Okay. So what did the people at the church say when they were playing laser tag? What did they say? Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Get it? Laser tag says pew, pew, pew. And at church, we sit in pews. Good one, Edie. Thanks for the joke. All right, let's have a closing prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you for setting such a powerful example of kindness and love. Help us follow your example by helping others and practicing kindness. Amen. 
Thanks for joining me today for Family Faith Formation. Bye.